I'm going to play solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. Playing solitaire is a bit of a challenge. You've got to be able to compartmentalize your decision making. Play one hand at a time and don't forget whose turn it is and don't forget to discard or pick. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie, and pick a category to play. Maybe even pick a hand. After the Charleston, if you want, you can be the fifth player and bet who you think will win the game. Don't read any comments until the end of the video so that you won't be affected by other people's opinions. We'll check out the consensus at the end. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have East West Dragon, five dots, four bams, two cracks. All singles. If this were your hand, what would you do? And what would be your first pass? Because consecutive run is so flexible, I think I would collect consecutive tiles. Six through nine. Four numbers in a range when you're in mixed suits. We have two sevens, two eights, two nines. Maybe hold dragons. Maybe hold the winds, east and west with eights. Hmm, we'll pass those three. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as south. Jokers, west, one of each of the dragons, five, seven, nine in bams, three, five, nine cracks, pair, pair threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If I were playing these, I would focus on the threes, maybe the dragons. Little odds, pass those three. Focus on the threes. Maybe one, three, three, five, dragon. That would be fourth hand down. I was just thinking, maybe we should keep the nine for three, six, nine. Give up the five, keep the five, give up the nine. That's a little risky, passing a seven, nine, but I wanna keep, I think, this nine. We'll see. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Joker, pair of flowers, single dragons, Three dot, pung of twos, four eight, and a four five in cracks. If those were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass?
if these were my tiles, I think I would play two, three, four consecutive cons in mixed suits. There is some potential for two, four, six, eight, but we have a gap. We have a four, five in cracks. I would not pass that. And I don't like passing white dragons. Two, four, six, eight with flowers, we could use that. We don't need a pung though. Let's forget that. Because we only need a pair. We'd have to throw away the two. Let's focus on, I had the wrong one in there. There we go. Two, three, four mixed suit Kongs. Pass those. Let's see what we can do for player four also known as North. We have Jokers and a pair of Norths, single green, one dot, two bams, lots of cracks with a pair. If those were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I think I would focus on evens. I wouldn't pick a hand. Hold this for a bit. Pass those three. Two, four, six, eight. It's a gap. Or we could maybe play a quint if we can get flowers. Jokers could help. So we're ready for the Charleston. consecutive run we picked up a pair and that's our first multiple so let's reassess this is the strength of the hand right here seven we could maybe play like numbers with sevens we could play Maybe four, five, six, seven, seven. We do have a gap. Consecutive run four through seven. Let's give up a west and the four. Let's focus on six through nine. Six through nine. We'll pass those. We picked up a four. Consecutive run. Oh, here's a five. New multiple. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Let's give up on like numbers. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. Three, four, red. One, three, three, five, white. Let's pass the green. We have options. Either consecutive run, three, four, five, or little odds with dragons. We have two, three, four, or maybe, maybe we could do a year hand. The problem here is the year hand with flowers are either with dragons and singles or 2019 singles with ones and twos in mixed suits. So I don't think that's going to help. It looked promising for a split second. Oh, look at that. We got keepers, evens. Let's break up the north and focus on evens. I would just gather. This looks like a hot mess, but if we just gather till we run out of discards, a hand will reveal itself. We're going across.
crisis averted. Oh, we got consecutive tiles, seven, eight, nine. We have six through nine, two discards east and west. Seven, eight, nine, mixed suit Kongs. Let's give up the six, maybe a dragon. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass those three. Oh, look at that. We got a five and a one. One, three, five. One, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. Joker bait, maybe. One, three, three, five, joker bait. This is unacceptable. I would not pass that. We have to give something up. Let's focus on one, three, five, and one suit and break this up. One, three, five, and one suit or one through five consecutive run. So that would be consecutive run number one or consecutive run number three. And we have no flowers. So probably consecutive run number one. Did I say consecutive run number three? That's odd number three. Little odds number three. We could maybe do one, three, one, three, five, one, three, five with fives. That's a gap. One, three, five with fives. Let's focus on little odds. We've got a four and a one. These dragons, let's give up a dragon, piece them out. I think this is going to go. Let's keep the one, because maybe we could do one, two, three, or one, two, one, two. Let's pass those three. Still focused on consecutive run. Here's a green dragon that corresponds. We'd have to use this as joker bait though. Let's pass those three. That is really risky though. Let's break it up. I like to build my hand, but still pass defensively. First left. We've got a red pair. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight pair hand. That pair hand is the second one from the bottom under singles and pairs. We have all the sevens. We could maybe play like numbers with sevens. Let's give up the nine and pass those three. Let's focus on the sevens, maybe the dragon. We've got a dragon. In the odd category, the dragon is opposite, which would go right here. So we could maybe do, for example, one, three, three, five dragon. Let's pass these three. We've got a dragon. If we get a one bam, we could play one, two dragon or two, three dragon. Let's give up the one. Oh, that's risky. We need help though. Let's pass it. We've got a dragon and a six. Let's keep the dragon and give up the six. So we did first left. We're going into the next Charleston. Everybody has tossed to pass.
we got a red dragon we do have tiles to pass that's a little risky though I'm kind of wondering if we should play like numbers with sevens seven eight seven eight seven eight we'd have to throw away a dragon for the pair hand let's break up the nine one three five we did get a nine if we get sevens we could play one three five seven nine we could pass those i would not pass that that would fit right into a year hand let's give up the nine either way we've got a risky pass we got the one one two dragon one two dragon let's pass those three we got a four two four six four six eight let's give up the dragon we're going across keep messing up the pass to west we've got a six six seven eight nine we keep getting east west four but we've got odds sevens let's pass those three focus on sevens and the dragons we've got a dragon but that's not the right dragon we want little odds no keepers we do have one two three four one two three four we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers I would not I would not pass that one two dragon let's pass those two four six eight we can pass those doesn't look like anyone's playing a year hand last right we got a nine and a one and a north let's pass those we've got a four we got the four back we could still maybe play one through five let's pass two and keep our options open oh we got the green and we have time oops tiles to pass one two dragon discard fourth hand one two three four fifth hand down under consecutive run we've got a four let's pass fully two suits we still don't have to pick a hand we're on optional cross this player is going to pass two we got a nine joker bait if you want to know more about joker bait look in the video description below there's some videos that demonstrate how that works this is a term coined by tom sloper of sloperama and it's a way that you could maybe get jokers in your hand by discarding one someone makes an exposure with a joker use the second one in exchange on your next turn sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't we didn't get any keepers no keepers we got a six back oh joker bait we'll keep it for a while so we're done with the charleston this is when you pause the video look at everybody's hand and decide who you think will win the game right in the comment section below
Your guess. I'm going to guess using this better. We're going to start by discarding three dot. I'll use this to mark whose turn it is. Eight bam. No, let's get rid of your tiles. Just in case someone's playing a year hand, but they were really going around. So nobody's playing a year hand apparently. And in this case, we're right. Nine dot. One nine. Two zero one nine. Two zero one nine. Maybe someone can play a year hand. Let's get rid of the east. We could use this for joker bait. We could still use the flowers. I think we gave up a nine bam, didn't we? All right, we'll just keep it for a little while. Oh my goodness, we have a pung of wests. East is out. I was thinking maybe we could switch to east and west with fours. Let's just hold the west for a while and discard six bam. That's not a six bam, that's a six dot. One bam. Nine bam. We want cracks, really. Or, th or three bam would be nice. Let's draw. Green dragon. Okay, forget the year hand. We've got a big multiple there. We need to Pong, Kong, Kong. That's good to go. Let's discard White Dragon. These will be discards. Drawing for North. Six Crack. We'll keep it. We could do East and West with Sixes, maybe. Those are pairs, by the way. East and West with Sixes. That would be... Fifth hand down under Winds and Dragons. West. Eight dot. So there's another multiple. Seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the north. Apparently nobody wants Winds. Six dot. None of these are helpful. Let's keep the white, eight bam, as an option. Drawing, white dragon, nope, let's discard that. I would give up on that hand. We would need two jokers. You need a Kong for one, three, three, five dragon. We would have to use our only jokers. Let's draw. Oh, two crack. Okay, this is looking a little better. Two, four, six, eight, joker bait, joker bait. Or we could play two, four, six, eight. If we can get an eight crack, we could maybe do one suit. Let's discard west. There are two hands with two, four, six, eight, and one suit, three hands, one with dragons. No dragons here. So I'd say the first hand or the third hand, if we can get the eight crack. Seven bam. Seven, seven, seven dragon. Let's get rid of north. North. We'll get rid of that next. Eight dot. Let's get rid of year tiles. One dot. There's a one bam out. We're gonna need another joker maybe to help out there. Nine crack. Let's get rid of the west. Nine crack. 
seven nine seven eight nine seven eight nine seven seven eight seven eight let's give up on the nines and focus on seven eight maybe the seven eight pair hand if we can get flowers and the other dragons or we could play like numbers with sevens use that for joker bait so let's get rid of nine bam that's been discarded nine bam okay here's a six bam three four five six three four five six six three four five six six joker bait let's discard white dragon three four five six six that would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run pair 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 kong kong let's draw eight crack we want one two let's get rid of nine crack flower okay two four six eight if we can get an eight crack we could maybe play fourth hand down under evens if we get the eight crack we could maybe play the first two four six eight and discard this let's just hold these for options discard the nine crack seven dot keep it discard nine crack like numbers with sevens looks pretty strong we have a gap with no eight crack for the year hand and we have no flowers i'm kind of thinking we should focus on sevens focus on sevens and dragons two bam not helpful here let's kong we're going to commit kong discard nine dot one crack one crack let's discard it we could still do two four six eight last tile second wall we got a five five seven seven nine like numbers with sevens or five seven seven nine but look at this what about five seven seven nine with dragons this would be fourth hand down pair pair pung pung kong joker bait I think that looks pretty good. Let's do it. Eight, bam. Six, bam. Three, four, five, six, six. Let's get rid of this four. This maybe could be joker bait. Sometimes I'll put plan B upside down. Three, four, five, six, six. We could Kong. Or three, four, five, six, and use this as joker bait. Plan B, discard. I like that better. Three, four, five, six. Here, we could pung, kong, pung. All we need really is a six. Second hand down. I think that's the strongest. We could still maybe do three, four, five, six, six, depending on what comes in. So let's use these plan B, upside down plan B. Drawing six dot
east. One crack. We got a three. Three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the one crack. That's looking pretty good. So I think I would give up on three, four, five pairs. Discard that. This is joker bait. Three, four, five, six pair. Pung, Kong, Pung Kong. South. Five dot. We got a five crack. Five, seven, seven, nine. Let's give up the eight dot. Nobody wanted it. Six crack. Wow. Three, four, five, six, six. Let's give up the six crack. Hmm. Okay. We'll see. Nine dot. We need one BAMS. Joker. We got a joker. Let's discard eight bam. Because we could use that for eight cracks. We could still do two, four, six, eight. Or, yeah, I think that's the best because then we could use this entire pung. Discard joker bait. Two, four, six, eight crack. It's going to be risky putting out three jokers, but that's going to be the only way to do it. Let's draw. Five dot. Wow, this is crazy. Maybe we should switch to the... I think we were thinking about playing that five, seven, nine pair hand, but all the nines are down. So yeah, forget it. We're not going to do that. Let's get rid of this eight dot. We'll focus where we were. Five, seven... Let's see, five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. This is joker bait. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. Seven, bam. These are pairs. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. East. South. Three BM. Four dot. Five dot. Flower. Okay, there's our pair. We need to Kong and Kong ready to win. Let's discard four crack. Five bam, five, seven, seven, nine. We need help here. So let's get rid of these. Five dot. We're narrowing in on our hand here. This is this is the fifth one, one, two, three, fourth hand down under odds. Two dot. Flower. That we needed. We need one more tile here. Let's throw eight dot. Two dot. Six bam. We don't need that. Six bam. Here. Three, four, five, six. Kong. Kong, discard, six dot. That's painful. Let's draw. Joker, they're ready to win now. 
8 crack, ready to win on a 1 bam. Up here, let's Kong. This is going to be really, really risky. We'll Kong, take the 8. Now, here's what, well, no, we don't have any 4s. I was thinking we could switch back, but we, we have a gap, no 4. I think we threw that away earlier, maybe. I don't recall. There are no 4 cracks out. We need to stick with it. And we need that for a pair, so we don't want to exchange. One, two, three, four. That hand is dead. I already exposed. I was confused. So we need to play two, four, six, eight. We have a gap. Let's exchange. Discard four, bam. All we need is a four crack and we can recover. Drawing here. Red dragon, we got our Kong. Let's discard five crack. We don't need that. Flower, discard. Here we need a Pong, here we need a Kong. Let's Kong. And here we're going to Let's see, wait a minute. Do we need a Kong there? No, we need a Pung there. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. This we don't need. This can go here. We need a four crack. We called that flower. So let's discard four bam. We don't need the Joker for a four. We need a pair of fours. Okay, here we go. Oh. Confusing. Four bam. North. It's getting dicey. Seven dot. Down here, let's pong. We need a nine dot. Let's discard seven crack. Three bam. We could do a three bam, but we're short. Let's draw. Eight crack. Oh, exchange, please. Thank you. That would be Mahjong. Mahjong. Flowers. One, two, dragon. That's the risk when you put up all those jokers. But they were one away from ready. Consecutive run, one, two, dragon. Fifth hand down under consecutive run. Winner. Self pick, because we drew an eight crack and exchanged for a joker. This player needed a nine dot, one away from ready. This player needed to Pung and Kong. So we needed one more tile right here because we could Pung here. We needed help right there. This player won. This player needed the four crack because their sixes went dead. Who did you bet on? Were you right? I bet on the right player. West. So that means I would get paid just like them. So this was self pick win, 25 point hand doubled. So that would be a 50 point hand. Each player would pay the winner 50 points. And if the better was correct, they would get 50 points as well. 50 points or 50 cents if you're playing for money. It is very risky to put up jokers 
in a big exposure like North did, but they were banking on the six BAM and it went dead. So I don't know if that risk was worth it. That ended up giving West a win. Got to count the cost. If they had one four crack, they could have recovered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.